Srimad Bhagavad Gita, The Hidden Treasure of the Sweet Absolute Editor, the dear most disciple and associate of the King of Spiritual Teachers of Vaishnava Ontology. Vaishnava Siddhant Acharya Samrat Jagatguru Prabhupada Sri Srimad Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Goswami Maharaja. Om Vishnupada Paramahamsa Paribraj Acharya Varya Sarva Shastra Siddhanta Vit Astota Sata Shri Srimad Bhakti Rakshak Shridhar Deva Goswami Maharaj. Rendered into English by Dridandi Bhikshu Srimad Sagar Maharaj. Assisted by Srimad Nimai Sundar Brahmachari and Sripad Jagat Ananda Adhikari. Invocation Meditation on Sri Gita O Bhagavad Gita, sung by the Supreme Lord Himself, You are the bestower of the enlightenment of Arjuna. You have been interwoven within the scripture Mahabharata by Srila Vyasadeva, the writer of the Puranas. In 18 chapters, you are the rain of ever-flowing nectar and the almighty potency of the Supreme Lord which delivers the whole material world of suffering. O Mother, I keep you in my heart forever. Obeisances unto Srila Vyasadeva. O Master of great formidable intelligence, Srila Vyasadeva, whose eyes resemble the long petals of a blooming lotus flower, and who lit the lamp of knowledge which was filled with the oil of the Mahabharata, I offer my respectful obeisances unto you. Obeisances unto the Lord as the chariot drive of Arjuna. I offer my respectful obeisances unto the Supreme Lord Sri Krishna, who fulfills all the desires of his surrendered devotees. He holds a driving rod in one hand, while the other is poised in the gesture of instruction, and he is the extractor of the nectar of the Gita. The glory of the Gita. The crushed jewels of the Vedas, the Upanishads, are like a cow, and the milker of the cow is Lord Sri Krishna, the son of Nanda Maharaj. Arjuna is the calf, the nectar of the Gita is the milk, and the virtuous devotees are the drinkers and enjoyers of that milk. Obeisances unto Lord Sri Krishna. I offer my respectful obeisances and to the lotus feet of Lord Sri Krishna, who is the son of Vasudeva, the vanquisher of demons like Kamsa and Chanura, the expander of the divine ecstasy of Mother Devaki, the supreme god of all gods, and the guru of the whole universe, the battlefield represented as a river, the river of which one bank is Bhishma and the other is drawn Acharya. Jayadrata is the water. The sons of Gandhari are the blue lotus flower and Salya is the crocodile. Kripa is the current and Karna is the ever-changing rising and ebbing tide. Asvatama, Vikarna, and company are the fearful sharks, and Duryodhana is the whirlpool. Sri Keshava is the fisherman of such a river of battle, which was crossed over by the Pandava brothers. The Mahabharata as a lotus flower. The words of Sri Krishna Dvaipayana Vyasadeva the son of Parasaramuni, are a pure lotus flower. The meaning of the Gita is the fear-reaching fragrance of that lotus, and the various narrations 
are its statements. The revelations of Harikatha, narrations about the Supreme Lord, are the river. In this world, the pure devotees are the bees who are constantly absorbed in drinking the nectar of the lotus flower. May that Mahabharata lotus, which is the vanquisher of all evils in this age of Kali, graciously bestow auspiciousness upon us. Obeisances unto the Supreme Lord I offer my respectful obeisances unto the Supreme Lord, whose glories are praised with celestial prayers by Lord Brahma, Lord Varuna, Lord Indra, Lord Rudra, and the Maruts, and whose glories are recited by the knowers of the Sama Veda, whose glories are sung by all the Vedas, along with their six subsidiary divisions and the Upanishads, who is seen within the hearts of the yogis, absorbed in meditational trance, and whose infinite glories cannot be known either by the gods or the demons. Bhagavatam 12.13.1 before reciting or studying the scriptures, one must offer respectful obeisances unto the Lord's incarnations, Nara Narayana Rishi of Bararik Ashram, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna, the Goddess of Speech, Saraswati, and the writer of the scriptures, Srila Vyasadeva.